Puzzle versus Creator is our next match. It is going to be a Protoss versus Protoss, which is actually one of my favorite matchups to cast. My least favorite, perhaps, to play. Uh, it's a tough matchup. It's basically, I mean, ZVZ is a tough matchup where it's like a matchup of risks, but PvP is almost a matchup of choices. It's like, it's not about how many probes you make. It's about like, do you make the Nexus? Do you get Blink? Do you get a Robo? Do you go Colossi? Do you go Phoenixes? What choice do you make? And once you make a choice, it's hard to go back. And there are choices that are better than other choices, but are worse than other choices. There's like triangles, but it's not rock, paper, scissors. It's like Blink, Remortal, Colossus, Phoenix. There's like four. How do you do that? There's also like one gate expands. Oz seems to think there's a Nexus first in there too. I'm not sure about that one yet, but maybe on Atlantis spaceship. <laughs> on what? On what map? Uh, you know, Atlantis space bear. Ah, Atlantis space bear. Okay, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, well, right now we have Puzzle, as you said, against Creator. A lot of Slayers players today. There yeah. Really, a lot of Slayers. Well, a players. ton of them. And. People have been talking about this matchup front, and most of them are on the opinion that both of them are kind of evenly matched. I'm rooting a little bit for a creator. I have to tell you a little bit of a story right now while Wolf is really demolishing everything here. There is one thing, guys, that you can count on. There is one constant in this universe, and it really, by now, it is not even a joke anymore. Every, don't, st stop laughing. This is not funny anymore. Every single time Wolf stands up and leaves the casting booth, he will throw down his headset. His foot will t be tangled up with a cable, and I swear, at some point, he will have destroyed every single headset that we have at GOM. It is ridiculous. As soon as he stands up and I'm just walking to the bathroom he's like suddenly like you hear this sound behind you and you turn around and it's like oh my god oops he did it again <laughs> oh I'm sorry guys it's true like it's actually just true I always knock my heads off the table without fail uh, but without fail we're gonna get into our next game between puzzle and creator right away I gotta I gotta I don't know I gotta develop a new tactic to make sure these headsets don't get slapped around you probably have to buy a new one at some point. <laughs> That's not the right tactic. <laughs> <laughs> well, one player that might have the right tactic is the one starting to the right side of the map. This is our Slayer's player in the red color, the Protoss, with this ID Slayer's Puzzle. And he's up against Creator Prime. And I have to tell you a bit of a story about Creator Prime. He was at the Fnatic house when uh, Wolf and I were casting uh, the Fnatic Raid Call Invitational. And it was actually so funny because the Korean players started to co-commentate with us. And, well, Wolf was commentating with Creator. And, uh, well, we asked Alive if he wanted to uh, commentate a few games with us. And uh, we were sitting in the back room and just listening to it. And you had a really hard time just g getting the time to so, talk. Yeah. He was so nervous. He, he was, was so really nervous. nervous being on camera. He was like really, really nervous. And I like even was speaking Korean to him and he was like still really nervous. He didn't, and, know, he didn't know what to say. I was like, I'm just asking you if you like this build or not, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Lino was talking about it and we were sitting in the back room and Alive was just staring at the screen and at some, kind he was, at some point he was just he was shaking his head. He was like, ah, Creator, Thrasher, Thrasher, commentator, commentator, Thrasher, Thrasher. And I'm like, hey, wait a second. You, you didn't even want to cast with me, so you don't have a say in this. And he looks at me and he's like, yeah, me Thrasher, but Creator, more Thrasher, more Thrasher. <laughs> that was just so awesome. <laughs> and it was really unfair. Life still dodged. He didn't want to cast with us because he's not confident with his English. But it's just so funny how these Korean players interact with each other. And Linok had a great time because he was the one player that was always like, Yeah, of course I'm commentating with you. I'm an awesome commentator. He actually is. So, yeah, yeah that's just a little bit of a side story, but Creator, a really cheery guy and really funny. He, uh, he actually made an effort, but he was so nervous. A lot of these Koreans were really nervous when they are on camera. And yeah. now they are playing on camera. Obviously, we have the old group today, so there are not a lot of people in the studio just now there's no Korean cast so it's a little bit better if you have a problem with nerves yeah that's very true and yeah well, let's jump back into the game so uh, what are gates, we going to expect here double gates from puzzle coming out here a faster second gas from him as well creator has skipped the second gateway and got a slightly later second gas which indicates he'll probably just be skipping uh, and going straight into tech right away he may have to delay it though because puzzle came to scout he actually Ran his probe away, suspecting a stock would be there, but it was not, because he spent more chrono on the warp gate research. Now, this is a matchup where Puzzle... Puzzle's actually decent in this matchup. Creator, when I asked, to, asked him in interviews and spoke with him in the past, 
he has the opposite opinion of uh, Oz, now Fnatic Oz, about this. He says this matchup has a lot of luck involved in it. He says there's, uh, he said it's, I think he even gave me your percentage. He was like, it's like 40% luck and 60% skill or something like that. I still remember the answer that Oz gave you when he was like, not angry, but suddenly all this series and he looks at you and is like, there's no luck involved. And if anyone says there's luck involved, I will beat him. And then he loses 3-0 to the Squirtle. <laughs> and that was uh, quite spectacular fashion that he lost that one. But, uh, or rather, I, it was, I guess it was parting that he lost to. But um, at this point, we do have three gateways out for Creator, but no tech whatsoever. It may be a three gateway expand. A very strange build to do on a map like this, though, where there's no secondary ramp. And it looks like that's what it's going to be. He sent a probe down to the low ground and didn't rally it, so it's actually just going to long distance mine. <laughs> but uh, I think we will likely see a Nexus here. His opponent, Puzzle, is putting on a lot of pressure here, and we'll be doing a Blink Stalker build off of one base. Right now only has two gates, we'll probably go up to four. He has the forward pylon though, and here comes the attack, immediately starts to target down the stalkers of his opponent, there's only the sentries left. He loses both of these stalkers, and if he's actually able to blink in there as soon as the upgrade's done, Puzzle, uh, sorry, Creator will have a big problem because he has sentries for their force fields, but he does not have the firepower. No, he does not. He is warping in zealots now, which will be useful if he decides to go for a big blink up. And we'll see exactly what his plan is here. Back at home, though, we see Puzzle actually not going up for four gateways, but rather getting the Robo, which is uh, exactly what Creator is doing here. He's scouted now his opponent's composition. He knows very likely with this many Stalkers out, it's some sort of Blink Stalker play. Wants to get that out ASAP. He's actually warping Stalkers on the low ground. Nice force is here to trap. He has to use an extra one, but he will catch one of these Stalkers. And to be perfectly honest, in this matchup, four Force Seals are worth a Stalker. They absolutely are. He could have done it with three. But if he has to use the fourth one, I especially if you already use the yeah, three, better you use say the than one. sorry. If you use three force fields and suddenly the stalker escapes, you will, will be so bummed out. You will have lost the energy. The stalker yeah. escapes, so there. Better say than sorry and use the fourth as well. If you mess that one up, though, man, you just better GG. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we have the Observer now out, so this gives him vision onto the high ground, so he can start to blink up onto the high ground if he wants to. He's doing actually a really good job puzzle with a lot of pressure here. Yeah, great micro. He, his opponent has a larger army, but he has potentially the better composition if microed correctly. These Immortals are going to be really important for Creator. I was really scared when uh, Puzzle started to attack, because with Blink in the picture, it was just a really scary composition, but now at least he has the Immortal, and that will help him so much, especially as, you know, if he waits for the second one, this will be uh, uh, really a problem for Puzzle when he starts to blink in. Yeah, and I don't think he's, he's going to blink in at all. His plan yeah. here very likely would be to expand as he keeps this pressure on his opponent. If his opponent comes out to attack and punish him for the expand, then he blinks and does counter attacks. This is a decent map for that. It's not the best one. It's not as good as Shakuris Plateau, for example, but I mean, you can blink into the main. There's a lot of wide area there. Now his observers here. And he does have a probe out on the map, but he's not making a Nexus just yet. In fact, right now, Creator is warping in some Zealots to go for a counterattack, but he has units at home. He is prepared for this. I kind of like that Puzzle has this small task force guarding his own ramp with the Evening Immortal in the picture. But he's moving out now while we have the attack at the low ground now at Creator's base. Creator just holding on here with the two of his Immortals. Oh, nice shot. And he's getting and he's getting his own blink upgrade. And now suddenly the sentry is gone. Those two zealots doing a lot of damage as Puzzle does not really pay attention to his units. Yeah, he does uh, actually take out the warped in units at the forward pylon for Creator. The thing here is that Creator is about to have his own blink, so he will be able to shut down blinks. Now Puzzle is taking the top left nexus now, which is really risky, but it's something that Creator will likely expect when the blink is out. Oh, this is scary though, he may get caught. You remember, he's about to have his own blink, but he does not have it yet. I don't actually think that he's going to spot this trader, that is, because Puzzle is just putting on so much pressure, so at some point he might suspect there's something fishy going on, but this... I like that he's trying to hide it. I actually really like this move. He's controlling the map right now, he cons controls his opponent's movements, but I, it seems that I'm wrong. He's sending an uh, observer up to the top left, oh, actually a probe in order to spot for this. Yeah, this is so Very smart, smart because it, it, it's just, it, it's if you play PvP enough in situations like this, it just seems oh. obvious, you're like, wait a minute, what's going on here? He, he's, he can't not have a nexus with this, and it's got to be just a hidden one, and it's a great scouting movie. He's not only scouts it, but makes a forward pylon so we can harass it He didn't it now. show the probe. He spotted the nexus and immediately moved back, so props to Creator doing an awesome job here. 
An uh, excellent game read, so he knows exactly what's going on. Oh, picking off Stark is here. And the pilot, yeah, will warp in a few ze uh, zealots and then just run up and uh, take down a few probes. You know, it's really weird. Well, hold that thought. We're going to have another engagement oh, here. The nice army for Puzzle field, definitely yeah. better, but yeah, the four shields are decent. He needs to get his immortals up and firing. You can see the immortals of Puzzle, two of them firing. The second one, however, not. He can actually chase them yeah, down and he, he does blinks get in, one. takes down the first immortal and tries to focus on the second one. Tries to take these units apart and now Greta is blinking as well. A very nice engagement here for Puzzle and he might just be able to end this game, ladies and gentlemen. He still has two immortals and he's taking those stalkers down one by one and now the expansion, it is exposed and he is struggling. He's trying to hold on Greta to this. But at this point, what can he actually do? He can't, man. He can't do anything. He lost the, the first battle on a PvP. That's usually all it takes. Forcefield attempts to block the probes out. He fails. It doesn't matter. He kills several of them either way. He now has two bases. Even though Creator knows about it, he can't really afford to harass him. He's going to send one Zealot over there. That's not really going to work out. And Maybe let's not forget Diamond League. that Puzzle also has a few pylons up there. So he can warp in units, not a counter this. And, well, Puzzle yeah, he's, in he's a great position. He does not even have to commit as long as he contains his opponent and saves the space. And there's the warp in that we've been talking yep. about. One Zealot tries to harass, but Puzzle immediately reacts with two Zealots on his own. He actually microed his probes away as well. He only lost two probes in total there. And uh, Creator's going to try to break down here. He does not have enough. Likely GG after this engagement. There GG. He is. Uh, you know... The, the key in this battle was how the Guardian Shields were used. In fact, Creator uses Guardian Shields preemptively twice. He didn't have any more than Puzzle. Not only had better units and a better Concave, but also had Guardian Shield in the battle. And that's why he won the battle so convincingly. His Immortals, Creator's Immortals, were not firing correctly in that battle several times. And the Hidden Base didn't really even come into effect. It was all just about that first battle, basically. Yeah, Puzzle takes it, he takes the win. Uh, he played a very aggressive style. He always put on the pressure and Creator was not able to withstand it. So now we have the second game coming up, which will be on Antigua Shipyard. Indeed, this is a pretty cool map for Pros vs. Pros. Again, a lot of wide area on this map for Blinks into the main. A secondary ramp as well, so expansion builds can work here. Basically, anything is possible on this map, and it's time to start. Players say go, go in the chat, and we will begin here. The GSL Code A with Kaldor and Wolf. And actually, we have six more seconds to the countdown. <laughs> ah, I mistimed it. Ah, you blew I just it. can't wait, man. I just want to jump to this PvP, that's all. Yeah, the next game will, by the way, be another mirror match. We have Terran versus Terran coming up with Slayers and Young against Happy. But now, as the low screen is done, we have the Antigua game. It is Creator against Puzzle, game number two. 